Hello, Galaxy. I'm... <laughs> Liz, Billy thank you. Billy is now hosting my stream with 21 viewers. I, I, I've, I got my, my hand, I need to wash, I need to wash my hands. I need, no more to three just resubscribed I, for 18 thank months. Thank you. Hello, I, everyone. I don't want, Hi, I don't press. want to touch anything. Hey, thanks, Liz. Because I, hang on, I gotta turn on the lights, too. Um, I, I fell behind on a task after starting the countdown. And, uh. And obviously, this is what happened. Where is my? I thought I had. Dude, I. No, I. Okay. Let me see. I have my my Star Wars hand sanitizer here. My my Grogu hand sanitizer. To wash my clean my hands. Sorry, everyone. Okay, wait, wait, hang on. Did we get we got raid ba barely available. Four minutes ago, barely. Thank you, so much, uh, for bearing with that countdown. Uh, Barely is probably gone. Barely is probably hanging on because I know what it's like after a, a, a stream. Oof, that is pungent. All right. Oh, I am definitely late. No more three. I fell behind on a task. I fell. I fell slightly behind. Uh, so thank you, one and all, for tuning in. We're talking Kenobi spoilers tonight. Uh, let me uh, go ahead and flip over to this view because it uh, looks like we're showing off uh, some of the latest makes there. The uh, giant octopus is done. Rock on. Rock on. I'm printing something practical. Practically hardly here. Subsector is also printing. Uh, good day, one and all. Let me welcome you in. Now that you've given me a chance to clean my hands. Uh, greetings, programs. Indeed, D Frizzell. Do you fight for the user? Hello, Hutch's Makerspace. No more three. Pez Liz. Gothleg. Dimmer. Mark H and Z Ryu 3D Medic Vince J Bravo 88A Ryu Need More Coffee Princess Fat Boy 1271 Good to see you one and all April you fools Thank you for coming in with the raid uh, as well as Justin Clayton and Clint Crockett Barely available I don't I, I'm sorry it was the, in the countdown Rise of the Podcast Good to see you I Heart Vulcans Yay for Kenobi spoilers Hello there We will be getting into that Hello Stephen Poole uh, rise of the podcast. How y'all doing after that brick walk? After our raid, you're you're. The, you, I can't believe we were your first raid the other night. That was really funny. Hey, Karen Clark, master of the practical print today. Seemingly, his his project turned a lot of people's heads. Mad Cat USA. Uh, yes, I am carbon based. Um, sometimes uh, carbon dioxide. If I've been drinking a lot of soda water, full of that. But right now, I have no soda water. So it's just me. Hey, Westry One. Westry One been uh, uh, completing her Captain America shield over there on Maker Deck and beyond. Glad to see everybody here. 3D Printy, you as well. Uh, yes, tonight we're talking Kenobi spoilers. I'm printing something practical. It's a clamp to, to, to go on the side of the desk to hold on to these earphones. So basically, like normally I just hang them on uh, the, uh, um, the mic. But I've been thinking about hanging them you know somewhere i'm going to try maybe doing it somewhere else i'm not sure how much space that's going to take up but even if i don't use it you know i may be able to use it for something else down the line you have carbon lined underwear well is that a thing the brick walk was the whole thing yes it was fun chatting with everyone working on stream improvements yeah as, you know i know in the title it said you know we're testing don't you know ignore this we're testing i'm like yeah but we never get to stream uh, raid Rise of the podcast, so we figured we'd, we'd give it a shot, or I figured we'd give it a shot. I cannot tell you what I was working on over there, but I'm going through a pile, a pile and a half at this moment, uh, and uh, yeah, that's that's where my hands got kind of messy. Luckily, I had everything else set and ready to go. I am printing something practical on the bamboo. You can't see it because I can't find that other camera. <sighs> Hopefully, it turns out. Uh, the infill did not look great so i'm a little concerned hey warzala good to see you so let me speaking of things that it, it may not turn out um i printed the ahsoka right this bust and this one turned out very well until it got to the top and even with infill there were a couple of gaps in the head. So what I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do, I don't know if anybody here has run into this problem. What I'm thinking about doing is just buying some nail filler, you know, like spackle, and just basically fill in the hole, basically filling that hole and then spraying spray painting this. And just spray painting the whole thing. 
and just going with another like a, a gray kind of a, a, a primer and and just spraying it down so what do you think nail filler there why well, I feel so bad you say hi to me and then the transition to things not working out well no no, no don't worry where's all it's, it just always happens it does look good need more coffee princess it, it, it's fantastic no the other one is gone Liz I chucked it sorry that, oh, that, that is never going to see the light of day. So my good. question is, do you, like, should I use nail filler? I'm going to spray paint it, I know. But, like, I, I need to, like, patch these these spots. And then once I do that and spray paint it, it'll be fine. It'll be it'll be normal. The only concern I have is that the gray won't be a matching gray to the other uh, busts that I'm printing. Ceramic Bondo. Ceramic Bondo. But even if I'm going to paint it, you think? More top layers will fix it if you print more. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to print more. I'm pretty much like this is like this was the this was going to be the one. And she was perfect up until the top part. And I've got to learn how to do more top layers too. That's my problem. That's what I need to do. Worked great on DL44 and printed and finished. Ceramic Bondo. Yeah, but that may be overkill though because it's like it's just a couple of um, let me go full on this. Hey Jojo, good to see you. See, it's just a couple of spots that did not print. And I've printed this model before, too, and it's printed out just fine. No no questions asked. But this apparently threw the printer for a loop. So I tried repairing it, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to... Hey, Jasper Dett, uh, I think I'm going to have to go with, like, a, I'm going to go nail... I, I, I feel I need to go nail filler, nail filler with this. Just get some nail filler. Just... So I've, I've, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some of that and then spray paint it and then uh, after it's painted I'll show it again. E either way, that's how that turned out. Got a few things I need to showcase. Uh, oh, Vandra Lee is a maker. Shut up. She signed up. I did not know that. We also raided Vandra Lee the other day as well. Hey, Nikita Net. Good to see. Yeah, more top layers. Yes, Krusty. That's what someone else said. But I'm not gonna reprint this thing. I I just I feel like it would be. Maybe I should reprint it and do more top layers and then be done with it and then maybe repair it and then gift this to somebody else. Maybe that's what I'll do. More top layers. How do I do to more top layers in the... Uh, I got to use the bamboo slicer. I'm I can't use the Prusa slicer. Whoa, that's a really good low drop there, level 63 Charmander. I got to figure out how to do more top layers. It's based on the same software. If I present anything with 100% infill, yeah, this is definitely not going to be 100% infill. That'd be overkill. Fill it with toothpaste. Well, that's what I'm, I'm going to go nail filler and then um, uh, and then spray paint it is what I was thinking. And then maybe maybe it'll be a gift or I'll hold on to it as a gift. The other one did not make it. I got to figure out how to do more uh, top layers. So I'll look at that. Uh, I'll figure that out and then maybe reprint. Because I've got a lot of the a lot of the uh, um, the filament to go through. So. Uh, Nifty JJ, I did not have enough top layers on this. I didn't know I needed more top layers. So I'm going to have to do more top layers from, like, the head up. Basically. Uh, and when you say top layers, that's not a variable layer height. Uh, it's it's got to be something with the support. It's got to be something with the infill. All right, if I can't figure it out, then I know who I'm going to be asking. So stay tuned for that. Um... We're going to be browsing everybody's makes. Tonight is the Maker Deck reset. So in another hour or so, Maker Deck is going to reset. So you're going to have to check your deck. You're going to have to check your deck. Yeah, no, it's not completely hollow. The other one was, and then it, it, it definitely had problems at the top. It The whole head caved. Um, so maybe if I figure out the top layers, I can go 0% infill up and until the top. Usually do five to seven top layers. See, I don't, I, I don't know what that means. I haven't, I've never done it before. So I've just got to figure out from there on up. I got to look. I have to look. That's basically where it's had pro, it had problems before. But if I went with a 0% infill until I got to the top here, if I can figure out how to do that, it'll be fine. Like when I get here, then it starts doing, you know, uh, like a more full infill or layers or whatever. Epoxy filler for cars. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just feel like it just needs to be surface level for paint. But I guess epoxy filler may have to be it. Because I'm going to have to smooth it out. Epoxy filter. Filler. Okay, epoxy filler. Let's see what we got here. Um, that, that. 
I'm looking. Clear casting, epoxy resin kit. Uh, a lot of this looks like overkill. Mm, I don't know, people. Five minute epoxy. Because I'm going to be painting it anyway, so. All right. Um, gap filler syringe. That looks like it's got it in there. High strength structural adhesive. All right. Um, just in case. I'm going to grab that. Primer will fill in a lot of the layer lines. Yeah, I'm not worried about the primer for that. When you look at the slicer, look for top bottom layers. It'll be set to four. Change to six. Yeah, but what does that what does that mean for what does that mean? Is that far enough for this? I I've got to go far enough because it's got it like it's basically got to fill in here in in this area. Um. Primer will fill it. Yeah, no, okay. Normally in cans, having a stock woodwork. Uh, what do you got here? What's this link? Um, yeah, that's basically what... Oh, that's tinted wood filler. I don't know if I need that. I don't need wood filler, do I? Or does it matter? I saw the epoxy. All right, all right. I'm going to be spray painting this anyway. Adding it to the cart. Because it's pretty much going to be a one and done. I don't use it. Hey, Precore Justin, get your makes in. We're going to be browsing everybody's makes today. First, I got to show you what I got. Show you what I got. Homemade jam, painting with acrylic. No, I'm not painting with acrylic. I'm just spray painting. I'm not, I'm not painting. There's no, no painting. Everything's like a one shot with me. I do not, I don't want to even begin to think about all that nonsense. I can't remember if I showed this when I got it, but um, pick this up for Jedi. Uh, this is a... You remember those bouncy balls? Do you remember these things? I don't know if that's in focus at all, but... Uh, hey, they had this at Marshall's. Like a, a bop ball. A hopper. Like, straight out of... Uh, straight out of... Um, uh, Stranger Things. Hopper, yes. Uh, anyway, so then there's, there's this. A spray and splash mat. Like, last year, the, uh, Diana was looking for, like, you know play toys and everything outside for like you know when it got warm and honestly a lot of them suck this one however is awesome connects to a garden hose and then kids can have fun so got that these were on different days but this is the one i got today and i realized i don't think i showed you the other things because i set them aside for jedi um now this one uh this one was uh this was a today's acquisition right here right there uh the today acquisition and I'm happy to get this. Um, this is a, a, a bop bag. Now, I purchased like two or three of these for Jedi. Uh, and and they, they're, the one of them, they had holes in them. It was really weird. That's awesome. Honestly, you see us getting that for our dogs. That's what I'm saying, dude. They, they may tear it up, though. Okay, hang on. I, I did thrift something. Give me a second. So... Some of you know the story. I was excited about this. This is uh, this is a hammerhead, aka Momane Don. This is a vintage Star Wars figure, and it was in a loose bag. Unfortunately, the rest of the, the bag was filled with junk. Uh, but I got a Momane Don. Now my story with the Momane Don is this. Um, this was pretty much one of the last Star Wars figures, like in the series, that I ever needed to get to complete my collection. I only saw one hammerhead on toy shelves over all the years and couldn't buy it because the, the person I was with wouldn't let me buy it. I was so angry at her. Um, that adult. I was never a fan of her. Um, but anyway, not, for, not just for that reason. I, I was not... I'm just happy she wasn't my mom. I'll say that. So... Anyway, so I, I found this vintage Star Wars figure, and it just—I mean, I there's, I there's certain figures, and I, I mean, I keep them around, right? I've got my my AT, -AT driver, one of them. I have many of them. Uh, a Momani Don is a fun discovery. Now, um, I many people probably remember. Red, do you remember? Do you remember if Pink ever told you her first Star Wars figure? Do you remember what Pink's first Star Wars figure? Because you know, I know. She said that she had Star Wars figures at one point. Do you remember her first Star Wars figure read? I'm curious to know. Crack Pyrex, good to see you. You need the Jumbo Bot bag? I know! 
inflates to five feet. Huge bot bag. Huge. Super size. Kaboom. With Baby Yoda and R2 and Mando and Luke. So it's got it all right there. So she hasn't had a bot bag in a while. Did I already talk about CGI Anakin? Uh, that wasn't CGI Anakin. That was Anakin, dude. And we haven't gotten into the spoilers yet. That was not CGI. They may have touched it up a tiny bit, but it's for real. Oh, crap. No. Oh, no. I needed that. Um, honestly, she never said her first one. Oh, I'd be curious if you could find out, Red. I'd be curious. Now that I've, I've got it on hand, I'm just, I'm curious to know if she remembers. Just curious. You know, just, you know, now that, you know, I know someone else who had Star Wars figures, you know, it's always a fun thing to learn about. Wow, so many new names. I don't even recognize. Gonna have to not take breaks anymore. Yeah, Domi Jam, we, we, it's been very busy. Uh, we've got, we've had very good conversations. Luke Skywalker, which Luke, Liz? That was yours? That, that was yours, Liz? Oh, your first one was kid. Vintage Luke, which Luke? Do you remember which Luke? You love Star Wars figures? I do too. It was a Luke. Which, which Luke? There are many Lukes. There's Farm Boy Luke. There's X-Wing Pilot Luke. There's Bespin Luke. There's Jedi Luke. There's a lot of Lukes. There's, there's, there's so many. Seriously, there were a lot of freaking Lukes. Do you remember the colors of the Luke? Uh, homemade Jam, we missed you as well. Uh, Maker Deck has been going like gangbusters. We're over... Yeah, there's Twitch streamer Luke. We're over 130 uh, registered streamers for Maker Deck now. Over 130 Homemade Jam. And it's been, uh, the attention has been fantastic. Someone jumped in today. We'll get, we'll, when we browse everybody's makes, you'll see the tweet. But someone had basically said, you know, what, what, I, I'm going to paraphrase, but he was just happy that he didn't have to stream on his own anymore. There's probably a handless, there was not a handless Luke, believe it or not. Thank you for Star Wars figures. Qui-Gon Jinn. Oh, yeah. Obi-Wan, you're, you're young then. You had Farm Boy, Jedi, Fighter Pilot. Had the one on Endor. Oh, if you had the one on Endor, that was last 17. That was more rare. First one was Vintage Luke. Not sure which. Found in my child's bedroom. There started buying random lots of deals on eBay. Find it, try to find out which one. Yeah. I'd be curious. Just color me curious. Your brother had plenty of Star Wars figures, so I never need to get any of my own. No, no, Stone Monkey Research. You gotta have your own. Each of my, uh, each of my brothers had their own Star Wars figures. I mean, I, I had to have them all. I had to collect them all, for sure. Hey, C-Noop. Good to see you. Hello there. We haven't gotten into the spoilers yet. Let's browse everybody's makes, shall we? And then we can get into the spoilers. Let's go ahead and turn on the Discord. Here we've got uh, J Bravo. Give me a second. Um, J Bravo has printed... Uh, the, oh, that f focus bot writing something. What is it? What is the focus bot writing there? 70s babies, gotta love it. Yes. Mad Cat USA. Oh, yes, this Vader. Oh, it's a perfect filament there. Good job, Mad Cat. Wait, is that the same one? Dude, if that's the same filament, that is crazy good. It's like Pokemon, but for Star Wars. Gotta collect them all. Kind Well, Star Wars came before Pokemon. So, long before you had to collect them all. Flexi Llama. Oh, thank you, Jay Bravo. Retro Maker says, Hey there, uh, Farm Boy Luke was probably your first with retractable saber. Oh, yes. That was a good one. Try to upload a video. Yeah, y y the video doesn't work well. For video, you're better off tagging on Twitter. Is that the same Vader? Okay, is Mad Cat still here? I gotta know. It has to be. Wow. Dude, what a spectacular filament for that. At every angle, that is that is perfect. Wow. King Crafts. Pew pew. Lasering in there. Music. What, music something. What does that say? Music stylings. Bill. Bill got a custom there. Same Vader. Uh, yeah, tricolor. That's what it looked like, Kieran. I've not tried a, a tricolor yet. 
I don't know about Pokemon, but I know they say you gotta collect them all. Yeah, gotta catch them all. But back in the day, like with Star Wars, the back of the card said, collect them all, all 97, all 64, however, 48, 48 backs, I remember. Uh, what, what is this? Looks like a practical print there, Steven. Steven was printing up a storm today, too. Is it a practical print? Like something that holds cables? Oh, a cable coiler thing. Whoa! Omaha 3D prints. Now, Omaha started following and making on Maker Deck today or yesterday. Yusu three color. Okay, co extruded silk PLA. That's very nice. Um. Wow. Is that one of the towers from Lord of the Rings? Is that? Oh. Omaha, I don't know. He he's not here. He, I don't think he knows me. He's he's, he's just on on Maker Deck. But that is awesome, Steven. Thank you for uploading that video. Feisty Kitty, who was very active today as well. Monsoon Josh has this animated GIF of oh, you can't. I need to need to do it so it embeds because it won't scroll properly. Hey Bob. So anyway, he's got me facing off against uh, a Captain Picard bust, which is really funny. It does look like the Dark Tower. That's what I thought. Homemade Jam. I'll have to follow up with him. Anyway, so Josh also tweeted that. I think we accelerated. We can't accelerate everything Josh tweets, but we do our best. Uh, flying Drop J uh, Bear, one of the last jobs the factory extruders will be doing. I, I like that. It looks cool. Looks futuristic. Liz is going to keep her Demogorgon. I mean, it looks nice. The, the hot pink Demogorgon. If I were to have one. Yeah, it's a good choice. I haven't printed mine yet. And Liz hasn't even watched Stranger Things Season 4. Come on. JoJo, oh, is this a, a pen organizer? Pen holder? Yeah, yep. I've seen the low poly pen holder, Stormtrooper. That's nice. I haven't done one yet, though. There's RetroMaker. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Here is the RetroMaker 60s TV with and without wild hair and supports. Printed at 0.12 layer height on an Ender 3 Max. Basket weave turned out pretty well. Wow, did you model this? Look at that. Wow. Did you model that? When should you watch? When would you watch it? I, I, bit by bit. Out, out of your side eye. Good job. That is a fantastic job there, man. So you're obviously into retro stuff. You did model this. Wow. That is so incredible. You know, it, you know what? Is this like a phone holder thing? Because imagine having something where you could like slide your phone in and watch a video in a vintage TV set. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? After some Googling, it seems like it was Luke with his basic white robe, but she believes it was the cloth robe one. Cloth. Farm boy Luke is the only one I could think of. Jedi doesn't have hers down here. Uh, it's the only one that, was he wearing white or black? Does she remember white or black? It is a phone holder. Okay, okay. That's what I thought. I've got a Samsung. It's a very big one. So if I were ever to get one of these, it'd have to be huge. Huge. Dude Blight, thank you for your support. Dude underscore Blight 89 just resubscribed for six months. That's Good evening. That sounded weird. Did you hear that? Did you hear the announcement? Did you hear it? Did you hear the announcement come through? I heard it, but it sounded like it was in a tin can. Okay, you heard? Did it sound like it was in a tin can for you? Because it sounded like a tin can for me. It was really weird. Um, Liz, she's done with that filament or almost done. Almost a fail. Glad it didn't. The Palpatine Photos Mint bust. By the way, I talked to Photos Mint. He says, don't tell anybody that he did it. So the old Fotis did something. He didn't really like it, but I said, you know, I, I would want it if he still had it. He did do the Bith. So the Bith statue is back up on my mini factory. And I thought it was great. There's a story. There is a story about a man named Brady. I haven't done my Palpatine yet. I will, though. I will. I wanted, I wanted to try to get past the Ahsoka first. And now that I know about the, the layers... I'll be able to uh, to potentially uh, get in there. D-Bowl. I haven't seen D-Bowl tonight. Oh, Westry. Or not just Westry, but Homemade Jam. Have you seen D-Bowl's makes? 
Uh, I know Homemade Jam has not, but this 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 person is outstanding with the detail work and the painting. D Bowl has made all these things. It's incredible. We recently connected with D Bowl. Look at that predator too. Love the Freddy Krueger. Ah, oh, here we go, feisty kitty. There's her octopus. There's her octopus. Uh, a filament spool extender. Or Pez Liz. Taking a screen cap from uh, from Maker Deck, which is fair. Okay, there we go to hold the spool. There's Jamie coming in. Ooh! Dual color filament in purple, green, and vase by Sid Naik. Naik? I don't know how to say his last name, but that's pretty cool, dude. Great use of that filament. Really good use of the filament. If only we needed more vases, because those are just awesome. Uh, Decibel's been working on an Arduino-controlled turntable, which sounds kind of interesting. So he went practical, but, uh, you know, it's a turntable. That's kind of playful, too. I think it's playful, practical, don't you? And make it look more realistic, not painted, if that makes sense. Yes, that does make sense, Westry One. Uh, we for weathering, I you know, I, I thought about getting, uh, what do they call it, rub and buff? I thought about painting the Ahsoka or primering the Ahsoka and then rub and buffing her. But I'm going to reprint her without infill, apart from the top um, the top layers. I have not watched that, big fan. Um, but I need to repair this. I need to repair Ahsoka's head, so I've got to get the epoxy, and then I'm going to have to paint it. No worries, Shannon. Thank you. Uh, we're just browsing everybody's makes and tweets. I'm going to close that. Head over to Twitter. No matter where you make or how you make or what you've made, tag Maker Deck. There's a greater chance we're going to be able to see it. So, FYI, as we scroll through everybody's tweets. Nice landing, Bob. Uh, here we've got, speaking of, Shannon. Came in just in time, thank you. Looks like 16 hours on the Vecna. I have not done one Vecna. Everyone else has done a Vecna. I have not done the Vecna. If it's not Star Wars, admittedly, it's a low priority for me. Oh, Mad, Mad Cat, thank you. Gifted one subs. Thank you so much, Mad Cat. Appreciate that support. Oh, Brad wanted one. Fair enough. And then here's a video uh, from uh, Modelli Models. Uh, Maker Deck, I did this. Uh, I'm sorry, this is uh, Retro? Is this the Retro? This is his make. He modeled that, a retro TV. It's, uh, it's all, you said it's a phone holder? You slide the, do you slide the phone in? Is that what you do? It's incredible, dude. Thank you for uploading the video and tagging us. Very appreciated. Josh, here's the video. Thanks again, Josh, for all your tweets today. So it's, it's, it's Chris Perillo and Picard busts facing off. It's kind of fun. I think Picard would win a stare down contest. And thank you, Madcap, for your support. We're just, we're about a little over 10 away from tonight's sub goal. A uh, fat boy, 1271. Uh, had, had started this here. Uh, a flexi sea turtle. Nice. From a bunch of Googling reference. I think it was Farm Boy Luke with yellow hair. Okay, okay. That's what it was. Fair enough. You thought you remembered a cloth shirt on it. See, it may have been a custom cloth shirt. Because it, it But the Farm Boy Luke makes sense. So here's a uh, flexi turtle. Looks nice. Good job there, fat boy. Lizzie. Lizzie for shizzy. Uh, tagged Maker Deck on this, so check this out. If you want to help people, like, you don't have to join anybody's campaign. Y you don't have to do that. Uh, you can actually get in touch with the controller project. You can 3D print, uh, controller, um, accessories for those who need it. So this is an endeavor, an effort that's happening. So thank you, Ms. Liz, uh, for tagging us on this. Uh, if you were looking for something to do with all your excess filament, this is an idea. New Future Tech, back from his break. First stream on Maker Deck earlier today. We welcome him back with open arms. He also sells things on his Etsy shop, by the way. You could be remembering another figure. Oh, it's possible. You're printing a holder for your EZ, ABL, and PTG. Boy, that's those are things I probably never will need or use. So more power to you. 
Love this. Okay, this is the this is the the comment we were talking about earlier. Uh, Omaha 3D Prints started following Maker Deck today, and I love this. I love what he said. I thought I was going to have to stream by myself on my own channel forever. Ha ha. Do you understand that? Do you understand when, when he says that? Do you understand? Yes. You can and should set up your own channel. Absolutely. I'll never tell you otherwise. In fact, there's a reason that uh, I, I helped flesh out those Twitch tips earlier this year. I think it was earlier this year, right? Uh, the free list of like 60 some odd Twitch tips if you are interested in setting up your own Twitch channel. Suggestions, guidelines, things that could help. So if you get stuck, you're like, I don't know what to do. I'm doing, am I, what, I think I'm doing everything wrong. Well, I'm just saying. Um, sometimes you got to do more than just have a 3D print going, sometimes you have to engage. And the value of Maker Deck is that the conversation is what everybody is doing at the same time. It's a virtual maker space. It's not a community. It is a virtual maker space. So the fact that he validated what it was that we were doing was fantastic. It was, you know, he thought he's gonna be alone forever. Nope, not the idea. That was not the idea at all. So you you saw you followed Omaha after you saw the comment. Well, you know, I haven't had a chance to see his uh uh, his, oops, his, uh, streams yet. Just met him today. Uh, Josh, aka Nifty JJ, Nifty JJ, if you are still here. Uh, the ATRT from Play Action Toys. I haven't done one of the, I haven't printed any of his vehicles. I've just done the figures. I'm halfway through a couple of these silver clone troopers. I've got to reprint the, uh, the insert because they, they cracked when I went to, to put the legs on. It was just too fragile. Oh, I also printed this. It's a, a mini catapult. It's three pieces, takes maybe an hour, and you can put whatever you want there and just flick it across the room, for sure. Oh, thank you, Liz, for, for grabbing that. And I love that. I love what he said. The Free Heathen rated my stream with nine viewers. The Free Heathen, thank you so much. Glad I was able to swing in there. I, 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 was, I was listening uh, to, to Free Heathen briefly during his... I, I had a chance to bra browse around a bit today, and he was saying... Something about getting a steak. He said, oh, you know, something about vegans and steaks. Laboratory 4, and, 24 rated my stream with uh, 28 viewers. Well, Jeff. Jeff, the person who is not building a Game Boy. <laughs> he was he was building, assembling, um, you know, something that he's invented. So we've got, we got the free heathen who was geeking out, interacting with chat. I, were, you, were you messing with Tinkercad at all today, the Free Heathen? I am curious to know. Uh, and Laboratory424, who is an inventor. I mean, that's, seriously, the first time I tuned into to Jeff's stream, um, he was explaining what he has done. And his stream is a ton of fun. I mean, I, I try to I listen. I try to learn. I will never do anything close to, to what Laboratory424 does. But I appreciate uh, that you uh, you share your experiences. I your I think your title was today like help me assemble. I'm like how the hell am I gonna? I don't even know one part from it. How am I gonna help you assemble? All I could do is post an emote in chat. Laboratory 424. That's all I could do. That's all I could do. Uh, Mad Cat says, uh, Hey Chris Perillo, can let you folks know if you're on Facebook need help with printing. Like to offer help people printing. Oh, there's a 3DP rescue group. Nice. Well, that's what I mean. We there's a lot of discords out there too. Uh, I don't know how people have posted questions on the Maker Deck Discord as well. Uh, there are a lot of places to get uh, help. Uh, we're not on Facebook, so if anybody is on Facebook, that's a good place to point them to. Mad Cat for sure. I don't. I I I don't really follow a lot. Most of my Facebook feed is Star Wars. I don't, I don't really follow anything else on, on uh, maybe a couple of friends, but I don't really follow anything else on, on, on Facebook. Not my thing. You uploaded the video of the vase on Twitter? Oh, no worries, homemade jam. Happy to accelerate it. Duff caught the steak talk. I think there's vegan steaks. I mean, I have vegan hamburgers. Those are delicious. I love them. Had one today, as a matter of fact. Got them on sale. They're delicious. Uh, oh, you're a moderator for 3DP Rescue. Oh, nice, Mad Cat. That's an accolade. Feel free to put a link. That's right. Bob Carnes, really? Star Wars, you say? Hard to believe. I know! See, this is, uh, like, this is as much as I can make, Jeff. 
uh, if you're not cleaning up, you're cleaning up your ping pong balls. I can print things, and I even screw that up. I'm gonna have to fix this, and or repair it, and then and potentially uh, spray it, and, and then give it as a gift to somebody else. I'm gonna reprint with no infill next time, but I'll have to do uh, I guess more top layers because it screwed up right here as it got to the top. It is where it screwed up. So I, I can fix it. I can't say I can fix anything, but I feel I can fix it. Okay. Um, so we've got that. Now, we're not done with the uh, tweets before the raid. Uh, we're browsing everybody's tweets. This is what we do. Uh, Sarah uh, has been com continuing her print of a full-size Captain America Avengers Endgame shield, which is outstanding. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how this project comes together too, because this is a big freaking project, huge project. Uh, Ryan uh, has been printing or making casting in resin. There's something that he had done today. See, when I see cool creatures like this, it makes me wish I was in that fandom, you know. And then, um, I guess we had, we'd shared this last night. We, we had onboarded someone in just a few minutes. It was that quick. We onboarded um, a mystery XD one, a mystery XD one, and there's uh, that was yesterday's Shannon. We shared Shannon from yesterday the Vecna, so this must be the last tweet for the day. Um, so anyway, we did a quick onboarding of that, which was outstanding. Going to return you to my practical print here. Close that browser window. Uh, I have to go check on the my focus. Uh, not no, sorry, not my focus. I don't have a focus printer. I gave it away. Um, I gotta check on the bamboo because as my pr my practical print is still getting done, so I'm hoping for the best. Thank you, Mad Cat. Oh yes, I think you you linked it. Is that the first link? That's the first link. Um, free heathen, good to see you. Your name on all the media is awesome, Omi Jam. And like I said, there are people who ask questions everywhere, so thank you for participating on the Maker Deck chat. Thank you for participating on the Maker Deck Discord. Really appreciate it. And of course, I know everyone's got different places that they go. Just another, it's, it's, people ask questions. It's good to have people who can answer. I can't answer questions. All I can say is, I don't know, talk to so-and-so. I'm good at doing that. That's what I'm good at. Did I see the runtime for Kenobi next week? I, I it's like a full-length movie, I hear, Shannon. We're gonna, when I come back from checking the practical print, we're gonna be getting into uh, spoilers for Kenobi. This is your warning. show this i need to hang on not 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 the warning yet i i have to All troopers, crap. may i have your attention oh. no hey ha ha uh no thank you for for turning that on it's just i was gonna okay so i i forgot i need to show this uh this was an acquisition this was a five dollar four dollar five dollar a uh, pickup four dollar no apparently you can't have my attention um this was a, a ross pickup today uh, Mudhorn Clan. Uh, now, now, Liz, now, now that you can the, the attention thing. Anyway, I need to show this because I'm setting things up <laughs> tonight. Okay, fine. on the starboard bow, starboard bow, starboard bow. There's well, that does happen every bow. once in a while. That can't Jim. be good. side of the force it's not so much dark as it is weird like it really gets weird in here thank you so for subscribing weird. i knew you could do it happen every once in a while that can't be good
All right. Now. Oh, crap. Almonds, folks. My ma my maker deck. My maker deck crashed. Well, we're we're getting we're getting close to the reset anyway. There we go. Sometimes that happens. All right, you ready for Kenobi spoilers? Here we go. This is almost done printing. Yeah, I don't know how my the 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 P, white PLA is not having a good time downstairs, like on the on the bamboo, and I'm a little concerned about it. And I I need to I I don't want to reprint with that filament until I know. Um, give me a second. Um. Stick at around 225. Increase your infill width. All right, I'll, I'll try it again. Because this one did not turn out. I'll try it again. Uh, the, uh, the, the thing that the practical print that I was doing. Okay, so let me open my notes. Okay, here we go. I got my Kenobi notes. Kenobi notes. All right, here we go. So first of all, an hour 33 minutes, nuts. I, I can't wait. Uh, second of all, I didn't get a chance to say a couple things last week. Um, first, of, uh, so I, I, I was calling it a Nur Trooper because, of course, they're on Nur with the uh, Fortress Inquisitorius, right? And you see the Black Trooper. I'm like, oh, my God, what is this? It is apparently a Purge Trooper Phase 2. And I don't know about you, but, like, Phase 2 is, is like, my official favorite phase of all these troopers. I love the the, uh, the Phase 2 Clone Trooper. I love it way more, way more than the Phase 1. Phase 1 I never really liked. I'll be honest. The Phase 1 did not do it for me. I was all about the Phase 2 Clone Trooper. Uh, and so this is now known, and, and the funny thing is, the phase one purge trooper, I, I, I never really did it for me. I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know. Wasn't a fan. But the phase two, I'm down. So that black trooper you see on Nur, and then of course on the what, what's the what's the the new planet that they fly off to in this episode? I can't remember. I gotta remember these new planet names. Um either way, I was blown away by that phase that the, the phase two uh purge trooper. Seriously, dude. Insane. Um the second thing I, I, I didn't get to mention because I think something happened and I got, I, I lost I, I got sidetracked last week and I, and I didn't have a chance to talk about all the spoilers last week from last week's episode. I thought it was funny. I, I'm a cute funny when they're trying to escape to get to the the the, 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 the ship and they're going to the hangar and Leia is under Obi Wan's trench coat. I, I thought it was hilarious because Obi Wan's. I mean, I thought it was hilarious. I'm like, I'm loving it. I'm like, okay, that's pretty funny. I'm like, okay, okay, let's see where this goes. And then you see Leia peek out and then like, like, it was funny. But apparently, apparently, this pissed people off. Some people got pissy and moany on social. Like, uh, if I wanted silliness, I would... It was perfect. Are you kidding? But Pink, you're like, how does it, no one noticing it. No, no, no. Here's the thing. And that did not... That didn't phase me because everyone's running around left and right, going here, there, wherever, you know, left, right, wherever. Um, and uh, uh, so that didn't surprise me. That didn't surprise me at all. Um, the uh, uh, So that did not surprise me. Um, but either way, um, I, uh, uh, I, I did not mind that moment, the under the trench coat. So I, you know, when... In winter now, I'm like, here, you want to be like Leia going to my trench? It'd have to be a big trench coat. Um, and then, of course, loved Vader in last week's episode. Vader was villainous. Vader has been great. This is like, I know it's, this is Kenobi, but Vader has been showing up. Showing up like you would not believe. So that leads us to this week. Um, perfect start. Great throwback to the uh, Attack of the Clones era. That is Hayden Christensen. Uh, I don't know if they did de-aging on him at all. It didn't seem odd. It didn't seem off because uh, it was him, basically. Uh, I mean, the actor, right? Hayden Christensen. So I liked it. I enjoyed it. 
Uh, good lightsaber duel, right? That's, they're staging something here. He didn't know where it was going, but I love that it started out that way. I'm like, wait, is that? I'm like, it is. Oh, my God. Uh, I thought it was a good arc for Tala. Uh, you know, when she um, when she died, right? It, was, it, it didn't hit me, like, in the feels. I wasn't crying or anything, but I was like, I felt. I'm like, oh, man. And then, of course, the robot, the droid guarding her, right? Like, I was just like, oh, man. I don't know what it is, but when these droids get destroyed, I feel something for the droids. It's really weird. <laughs> End of next episode, calling it now, going to be a Vader will return. It's possible, Shannon. It is possible. Although, Vader's been around. A they don't want, I don't think they want to oversaturate Vader. Like, give us this kind of Vader. Droids are people, too. I'm going to say that. Vader spinoff? I don't know, man. If there was a Vader spinoff, my feeling is, um, my feeling is that it would be a Dr. Afra. I would like to see a Dr. Afra series, and Vader would be relevant in a Dr. Afra series. Very relevant in Dr. Afra. So the Reva twist, I was, I was kind of like, oh, whoa, I'm like what? So she was like trying to get Vader, and I'm like, well, why wouldn't she have? You know, I, I guess I've been kind of thinking like, why wouldn't she have? figured out how to get Vader elsewhere. So I think she was waiting for the right moment to get Vader, to draw out Kenobi, and, and if only to keep Vader focused on Kenobi so that she could get Vader. So Kenobi was bait for Vader. So I thought that was interesting. And you can see the conflict in her. Um, and then, of course, at the end, you know, when she picks up the communication and, and then, you know, extrapolates... Um, it was it was interesting. I was uh, 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 not surprised, uh, but um, very very shocked, honestly, uh, that that it happened. Uh, so um, you know the way it played out, um, it wasn't like a, oh a dramatic twist. I'm like okay, this is interesting. It got good. It didn't need to, but it got good. Uh, so the Reva twist with her meeting the Padawan, we could have inferred that. Based upon everything we knew before, why else should she be going after Kenobi? Why else would she be going after Kenobi? Why? Why would she? And then you start thinking, well, wait a minute. Like, you know, if she pretended to be dead, why did Vader would have known? But then, of course, Vader comes back and says, I knew all along. I'm like, okay, of course. So whatever Vader does is intentional. That's the thing. That's the thing you got to learn about Vader. She is intentional. Or he is intentional. Do I think she's dead? No. How could she be dead? She picks up the communication at the end of the at the end of the, the show. She's not. She's clearly not dead. Tala is dead. She blew herself up with a thermal detonator. Uh, Inquisitor came back. That was a, a, a given. We knew that was going to happen because if you watched Rebels and you should have, you knew that the Inquisitor makes it, you know, past this era. So that's not a shock. Uh, but it was good. Okay, that, there he came back. Okay, all right, and then a big deal. Um, Vader. When he grabs the ship, it's going, I'm like, oh my God. So then he's grabbing the ship. This makes you wonder, why did, why, why did he let the Millennium Falcon go in the Empire Strikes Back? Remember, everything Vader does is intentional. Now you know he can pull, he has the power to pull, pull a ship, right? Pull a ship down. Uh, it, it, not just pull it down, but go, and rip it apart rip it apart like the hole is like i'm like holy i went seriously i went holy shit and when he when he's like when he's pulling the ship down and he slam and he goes and pulls off the hole and then i went holy fuh! i'm like i was just like oh wow i was whoa whoa big time whoa big time whoa Free Heathen says he's already planning the Emperor's downfall. That's possible, Free Heathen. It's a good posit. Although I'm not sure I'd say it would have been that far out. 3D Printing says it didn't work out for him this time, so he just assumes a second ship from now on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, 3D Printing. Like, have it have it take off, and then, and then, and then where's the other ship? Where's the other Millennium Falcon? Oh. <sighs> So that was perfect. The hubris. Uh, Anakin, or, uh, th and so this squares away the concern I had with, well, wait a minute, they fought, and clearly Vader is just kicking ass and taking names when he pulls Kenobi into the fire. 
So I'm like, but it didn't make sense when he says, you know, when, when last I saw you, I was but the learner, now I am the master. It didn't make any sense. Now it makes sense. I don't know if Vader and Kenobi are going to face off. I mean, they might. They might again. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, um, it's square. It's square. Like, I was, I, oh, it, oh, this episode was good. This series is so good. So good. So we learn more about Vader, that he's intentional, that he's vicious. He is just vindictive. He's just, uh, the, the, of course, the battle then uh, between Reva and uh, or the third sister uh, and, and, and Vader was awesome because he's like, he's not even using the saber, right? He's just like force stopping. Like, I'm just, I get away from me, child. I know exactly what's going on. You know, gets the lightsaber, you know, wields it, you know, has it d double blade, you know, cuts it in half and is just like, all right, here you go. Let's make this a challenge. And then he was, you know, the, oh God. Everything about this episode, everything was solid. This was a great episode. <laughs> Love that Leia got some action in, uh, you know, to go repair the uh, the doors, the 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 um, the bay door uh, that uh, Lola had uh, uh, ha I mean, the, the hacked Lola had hacked, or I guess pulled pulled apart um, or removed the the cable from. Um, but yes, this is spoilers, Papa Bear. Hence the title. So anyway, I, I appreciate Leia got in there. Um, that was good. And then, oh, here's the thing that's not really a spoiler, but but uh, there's a guy uh, that I've known. I, I've, I've hung out on his shows before, uh, a collector, a fellow fan. I've known him since the uh, um, the uh, the days of uh, before uh, uh, the, the Force Awakens was out. Corey Van Dyke. And Corey Van Dyke and his girlfriend, Aubrey, were in that scene. In the, you know, in the planet where they're all trapped in the hangar bay? I can't remember the planet name right now. Uh, but anyway, I know someone... They fought. I mean, we, but anyway, he's he's not. He's a background character. It's really cool. Uh, oh, hey, Papa Bear. Glad you're here. Um, I'm printing out the model. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to use supports because it's 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 wobbling too much, and maybe it's the speed that that's throwing things off. And also, I could not nail the infill, Papa Bear. It may it it may come to pass. I'm not joking. Where I have to buy you the white filament and have you print six of them and send them, Papa Bear. I, I may I may have to enlist you for that because I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off. I'm going to try one or two more things on my end, Papa Bear. Probability that Vader finds out about Luke lets him stay on Tatooine knowing that Kenobi will see his training in secret unknown to the Emperor. D Frizzell, that's an interesting... We'll find out. I don't know if Vader's going back to Tatooine. I think he's done. I think Vader's done. I think Reva ends up on Tatooine and, and meets her destiny there. I, I don't, because there's no way Vader, if Vader, I mean, he hates sand. He would go back to Tatooine in a heartbeat if he, if he, if there was any inclination. Planning to use Luke to take out the Emperor when he's fully trained and become his apprentice. Yeah, it's possible, De Frizzell. It's possible. But I still don't know if he would know. I really don't, I, I don't know if he would know. I could be wrong. I, I'm not saying there's any holes or, or need for any holes. Plot, or need for any gap filling with plot holes. Uh, but those are my thoughts on, on this week's Kenobi. Fan, fan freaking tastic. What a series. What a series. Jerry Switek, good to see you. Happy to have you here. Welcome in. Welcome aboard. Oh, hang on. Mom said. Oh, thank you, Liz. What? Uh, Star Wars creature bag set. Our best translate. Yep, saw that. Big fan. Um, I think I saw that on Twitter. There are people who uh, uh, go to uh, Disneyland and get all, get all the swag or show show all the stuff. And I think I saw that on Twitter. I think I'm pretty sure. I definitely want it. <laughs> if it's new, if it's new stuff like that, the trinkety stuff. Star Wars trinkety stuff, I'm a fan of. Go figure. Are you shocked? You shouldn't be. Don't be shocked. Don't be shocked. Okay, we're done talking. Well, maybe not done, but we have covered a bulk of my the Kenobi spoilers I wanted to get to, for sure. Um, give me a second.
Oops. Give me a moment. I gotta get something. Sparse infill with. Give me a second. Sorry, I gotta, it's a, this is a little bit of tech support. I, even I get tech support <laughs> from peers. Uh, oh, unmuted now. Okay, thank you, Papa Bear. So you didn't hear me, Papa Bear. I may, depending on how my next trial goes, I either have to use supports on, I'm trying it, it's printing, but it it, it, it is trashed. There's no way I'll be able to use it. Um, the infill did not work well at all, um, like at all. And um, audio gone. What do you mean audio gone? Audio, my, what are you talking about? No, I have audio. I don't know what you're talking about, Bryce. Um, oh, I've been loving Ms. Marvel, Shannon. Uh, in fact, oh, Maker Deck Reset. Anyway, Papa Bear, I may have to pay for, for filament to be sent to you, Papa Bear, to um, to print the, like, six to eight of them for me. I'm not joking. It depends on how I am able to, to do. Infill is all on the slicing. I know. I know that. But, like, the problem is the, the you'll see when I, I'm gonna, no, 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 it's not the, what I'm saying, you'll understand, Papa Bear. The infill, I understand. I'm talking about the 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 the, the portion. It's just barely, even with the brim, the it's just it's it's not very it's not very clean. Like I think there was wobble going on, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to print it. Or you know, I I, I guess I, I you know I could try a couple of different things on my end, but I may have to send it to you, send filament to you to print them because I just I don't have the bed space. I don't have the the size. Uh, that apart from that, so I've got to try a couple other things. I'm gonna try. I hate wasting the filament, but it ain't whatever I just did now ain't working. Even though I'd done it before, so I think it's something with the filament temperature potentially. Um, Papa Bear. Uh, so I'll show you. I'll take a picture. I'll, I, as soon as it's done, I'll take a picture. You'll see it. It's just like it's not. It, it was. It was moving too much. So I. I don't. I don't know what else to do apart from slowing it down, which I will do. Um, that's one of those things. Uh, yeah, Mark. Thanks. I don't know anything about them though, dude. I, I would I, I'm very careful about trusting sites that I don't know of mark um, So anyway, I, I'm either gonna have to use um, uh, Supports instead of a brim I'm gonna, so I'm inclined to use supports next time instead of the brim back there and then not have to worry about the brim That I, I feel that'll be the best way to do it. So I'm gonna do it with supports next time um, Okay, so you rehosted thank you mark. I appreciate your support I really do, genuinely. Everybody, check your deck. Check the maker deck. Everybody, check your deck. Okay, hang on. I gotta get your attention. Er did All I type troopers, that in? I did. May I have your attention? All troopers, may I have your attention, please? Thank you. I love attention. Check your deck. Check your deck. I repeat, check your deck. Check your deck. Did you check it? Did you check check the deck it? Deck did you check deck did you do your deck check? Deck check. Deck check. One, two, deck check. Three, four. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you need to turn your attention to your screen, your second screen. Or wherever you happen to be watching Maker Deck on a TV, on a mobile device, doesn't really matter. We've had the 48-hour reset. Seems that on our end of things, everything was smooth. Gave it a couple seconds. It is playing back just fine here on our end. And theoretically, it'll be playing out well on your end, too. So uh, let us know uh, if, uh, if you need to get your uh, deck checked by one of our uh, stream attendants. Do not leave your maker deck in a full upright position. Uh, please, just just leave it. On, don't mess. Just 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 press play. Leave it on the screen. Let us do the heavy lifting, and uh, relax and en enjoy your uh, the rest of your stream on, on on this channel and on maker deck, which will be going uh, seamlessly for the next forty eight hours. Oh, looks like. We have a new follower on uh, Maker Deck. Uh, looks like uh, Print and Play is now here. 
Welcome to our virtual makerspace. Uh, glad to have you and uh, enjoy the rest of your flight. Well, I know some of you heard the reset. Okay, we got a Vader time. Thank you for waiting, Free Heathen, until I got through the Kenobi spoilers. Ah! Never, I have come for you, old man. The ages, the ages have not been kind. I can barely get my hair in there. Seriously, I'm like, I'm like one week away from growing a mullet, people. Your deck is checked. Awesome, Fix'em Dude. Speaking of Fix'em Dude, Fix'em Dude received his first payment. Thank you, everybody, for supporting Maker Deck through the store. The merch, your Maker Deck merch, you can print your own, yes. Uh, but remember, makerdeck.store, Fix'em Dude does get a percentage, so he got his cut today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for, for helping Fix'em Dude get paid for his designs. Uh, the rest of it goes to paying Liz. So thank you for paying Liz and uh, Fix'em Dude. I, I will see none of it. <laughs> um, so isn't it good to have a team and be able to pay your team? Right? Isn't that nice? Isn't that cool? So thank you. Um, I'm going to be buying Maker Deck merch by tomorrow because 20% off site-wide. Find your vibe. That's a, that is a uh, red bubble thing. Uh, so get your merch now. You can save 20%. Now, we still get our same cut. We still get the, the cut of, of whatever the overage of the base is. Um, they, it's it's a 20% off of their, uh, their, their original costs. So I would get as much as you could that you're thinking, oh, would I want this? Do I want this? What am I going to eat? Now is the time. 20% off, which I, I don't know if they're going to beat that. I, I just don't know. That's nice, big fan. That's great. Shannon says, can you be flight attendant on your flight next week? Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm sorry. I, I uh, am not going to be allowed to sit on the mic again uh, after this stint. Uh, this is probably going to be my last flight. Major Gamer Geek just resubscribed for eight months. Thank you, Major Gamer Geek. Why does that sound weird to me? I'm glad it sounds normal to you because on my end, it sounds like everyone's in a tin can. It's bizarre. Bazaar. Ba. Bazaar. Oh, we got another new follower too. Bjurt TV. Bjurti? Bjurti TV? Uh, Maker Deck got a new a couple new followers just now. That's awesome. Bjurti TV. Very cool. Thank you everybody for checking your deck. Trying to figure out where to retire now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if only. Merch does not make a lot of money. It is true. But thanks to everyone who bought Maker Deck merch. Liz and I really appreciate it. It is true. I don't. I haven't. I was. I wasn't saying I was waiting for a sale. I was waiting to get you know something from Diana and Jedi. So tomorrow, like one of the things Diana's got to do. I'm like, what are we getting? What am I? What am I going to order here? Because we can save twenty percent. And like, I if we can save money on something, trust me, I'm going to take advantage of it when we can. So I'm getting a hat. I'm getting a T-shirt. Um, I'm not sure what else. I, I really, maybe a couple. Maybe a couple of magnets. I'm not sure I want anything else because everything else I can just print um, on my own for those kind of tchotchkes. I don't need a phone case or anything. I'm not going to get a Maker Deck pillow. I'm not going to get bed sheets. I don't think anybody is. I think everyone's just going to stay. The, those are all just, they're just options, you know. You never know. Like, oh, sure, you know, it's, it's a fun little option. But um, Okay, I need to check on that print again. Maker Deck dress. There is a Maker Deck dress, actually. Yep, there is. Three free then You can get a Maker Deck dress if you want. Uh, I gotta check that print downstairs, so give me a moment. BRB.
it is printing. It, it will be a. It will be a print. It'll be a successful print. But I. I. I don't know if I. I want to use. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use it tonight to show Diana and Jedi the, the what what I'm trying to get done with that practical print. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to dial it in with the filament before I run out of the filament. I mean, it doesn't take a lot, but I just have to work on the 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 infill and and, and attempt it again. Uh, potentially, I don't know if I want to start one again tonight. Um, I may take a look at it again tomorrow, May. Uh, although, I'll look at the time. See, here, it's 7.17. So, I've got... Two? Yeah, I got two. Yeah, so I'm not going to start another one tonight. Uh, I'll do it again. I'll do it tomorrow. I don't, I, I'm not leaving anything running overnight. I, I'll have to take a look at the slicer um, again. Yep, infill width. Sparse infill width. Density. What? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. Sparse infill width. Stick it around 225. Go to... 0.5 or 0.6. I I don't know how to do this. I hate not knowing how to do something. And I got to figure out how to do it before I try it again. Because the last thing I want to do is try it again without having like all the settings where, where I need them. Uh, waiting on show until... Oh, we already did it, Bryce, for today. We did it for today, Bryce. But we'll do it again tomorrow. Do not worry. Never fear. Um... No worries, Red. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. <laughs> Pink. Ha ha, you gotta work. Yes. It's a thing. Well, we got a full deck tonight. We've got a Mystery XD1 who just joined today. Uh, Kieran Clark, New Future Tech, who also just joined or started today. Red is still printing. He's doing a, an R2-D2 can cup, second try. Feisty Kitty's got a piece to puss. Uh, Westry One's got her Captain America shield. MJB codes Flexi Octopi for charity. Paradox has got a, what is that, a fidget star? Ooh, I'm curious about that. Uh, Robank, a rainbow Flexi Fox in subsector doing Maddie the Snake. A nice snake. Oh, yeah, Bryce, I love the helmets. I have, a, I have the Darth Vader helmets. I haven't purchased any of the other, even the ones on sale. I did not get any of the other LEGO Star Wars helmets. As much as they would have been nice to have. Good evening, Red. I hope your print turns out this time. Work it is a thing as the wife likes having a roof over her head. Go figure. I know. Yeah, you don't, you know, it's 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 a double-edged sword how that works. Uh. What? What? Do 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 do. See, I hear these over and over again, and just like then they, the the I start bopping my head. I need to refresh this, don't I? Because I mean, when the music starts playing like this, it's like. Let me hit refresh on it. It should be generative. We're gonna get we're gonna get some new ones here. A new a new soundtrack here. You want to make that cat robot so bad? Oh, see, I haven't seen we haven't seen it yet. We haven't seen uh, Lightyear yet. I mean, we'll probably watch it on Disney Plus. Not gonna worry about paying to to go see it in the theater. Oh, maybe we will. Maybe we'll. Uh oh, a hey, mystery. A hey, mystery is moving his camera around. Ah, uh, we just have to tell him don't move your camera around when you're streaming. Just take it off stream first. Oh, Lucky Hajit is here, doing a deck box. Sorry, I'm producing live. Sometimes that happens. Um, speaking of live, I have a couple more things I need to do before I head out to the airport here to go pick up Diana and Jedi. Uh, I don't have a, I don't have the con. I do, I definitely do not have the con. I'm not on the con. 
Um, my practical print is is going to be finished here real soon. Uh, the other print is going to be finished real soon, but I won't be able to reattempt a second one until I'm able to correct the issues on this first one. Um, but I am going to. What is this? Uh, I need to look that up too, don't I? Fart. Uh, I'm gonna wrap things up. I know these these past couple nights have been early, but you know, hey, we 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 I showed you everything. We did the Maker Deck reset. Um, we did some Kenobi spoilers. We did a lot. Uh, you know, I, I believe in in making these sh streams jam packed. I really do. You know, I, you know, not why, why stretch something out? We don't need to stretch something out. We can we can have fun, and then go off and support someone else. You feel me? So I'm thinking tonight. Um, we've got either oh, science is doing game night. I don't know about that. Uh, Brit is also doing. She's doing 3D printing. Though we did just raid her. Someone we haven't had a chance to raid in a, a long while uh, could very well be uh, Big Jano. So we've got either Ian Douglas or Big Jano is who I'm thinking between those two. Big Jano and Ian Douglas. Both have been very supportive of the Maker Deck pr project. That's what I'm thinking. Big Jano. That's my, my inclination to say Big Jano. AZ, I thought we had raided recently. I thought we had, but... So I'm thinking Jano. Jano. And then, of course, I'll see everybody on Maker Deck. That's how it works. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah? All right. Sounds good to me. Sounds amazing to me. What about you? Huh? What is what is Big Jano doing? Is he playing a game? Oh, he's playing marbles. That's a fun game. Everyone likes marbles. Let's let, we can join him for marbles. And of course, you can join us, uh, including Big Jano over on Maker Deck. He does he does stream in there as well. Uh, he's been a supporter from day one, and I really appreciate that. All y'all have, and, and it's been great. I really, really appreciate it, uh, helping us get through these first two months. You've been incredibly supportive. Check your deck. I assume you have at this point. Uh, and uh, we're going to be raiding Big Jan, who looks to be playing some marbles. He likes interacting in chat. He's a 3D printer. He's a maker. He just recently retooled his stream, so it's really nice to be able to, to push everyone his direction. Uh, he could certainly use that support tonight. I love you. I appreciate you. And at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. And may the force be with you always. I'll be back again tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific uh, with Jedi. She should be here. And Diana, they should both be here tomorrow for real this time. Hopefully, my hair will be gone. That's how you know it'll be a successful day if I don't show up with a microphone head tomorrow. Get the Perillo raid and make her D1 raid emotes ready. Get them ready. Get them going. Get him set. He's going to know that nozzle rate. He's going to know that emote. He's going to know. Like I said, thanks again for supporting Maker Deck. We're on the path to partner, so your views matter. Your chatting matters. You matter. Period. End of story. You matter. That's why I tell you the same thing every night. Uh, so here we go. Going to be Tuscan raiding Big Jano in three, two, one. Did it go? It went. Yay. Hosting Big Jano. And where did... Oh, oh crap. Did his... Wait. Twitch TV. Big Jano. There we go. Hey. What's up? There we go.